Now on four, 30 years after James Hanratty was executed for the A6 murder, the first in a new season of True Stories reveals disturbing new evidence about the case. Mum, what have I done to deserve this? No one can imagine what it is like to experience something like this. I wake up every morning and it seems like a dream. And I pray that one morning I will awake and it will not be a dream any longer. Thirty years ago this week, James Hanratty was hanged for the A6 murder. His innocence has been proclaimed ever since. Now there is disturbing new evidence that he was wrongly executed. Mum, somebody somewhere knows the truth and will come forward. No matter what happens, we know that the country has made a terrible mistake. My name is Valerie Jean Storey. I am a civil servant. I work at the Road Research Laboratory and I am a scientific assistant. I knew Michael John Gregston. He worked at the Road Research Laboratory. It was there I got to know him. On the 22nd of August, I saw Michael Gregston in the evening. When we got to the cornfield, we just pulled in about five or six feet from the road. It was late evening, not quite twilight. I had been to that same place before. We were there just over half an hour before anything happened. We were both very scared and asked the man what he wanted. We asked him not to shoot. We left the cornfield with Mike driving and the man in the back seat behind Mike. The gun was pointing at Mike. He said, keep facing the front and don't look round. At intervals, he would say, turn right here, turn left here. After we had been on the A6 for a while, he said, we'll have to stop.
so I can have a kip. He said, turn off here. There appeared to be a dead end, the man said. Turn the car around and stop. He said, turn the lights out. The man said to Mike, Pass that bag over. Mike picked the bag up. <coughs> he said, Get out of the car. He pointed the gun at me and said, Get in. If you don't get in, I'll shoot. He then raped me. There was a sudden bang. I felt something hit me and I fell over. I felt my legs go numb. He didn't hit me this time. I could feel them go over my head. I lay perfectly still, pretending I was dead. I heard him walk away. I heard the car door slam. Michael Gregston and Valerie Storey set off from Slough last night to organise the Bedfordshire checkpoints in a motor rally for the staff of the Road Research Laboratory where they work. They picked up a hitchhiker. In the small hours of this morning, they were pushed out onto the patch of grass behind me, now screened, between this lay-by and the A6 road eight miles south of Bedford. At a quarter to seven, they were found by a workman. Mr Gregston shot in the head and Miss Storey in the chest. Was Miss Storey able to say anything? Yes, she was pretty coherent, considering the fact she'd obviously been badly wounded. What did she say? Well, she was able to give a description of the man. She was able to tell me who she was. Uh, she was able to say that uh, a gunman had held him up uh, at Slough. Uh, uh, rather, she'd picked him up at Slough and that they'd held him, uh, he'd held him up and uh, shot her.